In this lesson here, we're going to be talking about the what hour. Now, the what hour is one of the most important lessons and bit of knowledge that you'll be given and understanding. And it's the most undervalued bit of information, in my opinion, when it comes to understanding electricity. Now, the simple form of the watt hour, volts times amps equals watts. So, a thousand watts, if you grab your electricity bill, you'll have a look on the back of it, you'll be charging kilowatt hours. So, 1,000 watts equals one kilowatt. Now, there's a huge difference, and this is the understanding that we want to get clear in this video at the end of it, that you have a, a definition and understanding of watts versus the watt hour. They're two very completely different things. Now, okay, so it's pretty simple though. All we do to get the watt hour, we've got volts times amps equals watts, then we add time. And that time gives us the watt hour. So this 1000 watts becomes 1000 watt hours. One kilowatt becomes one kilowatt hour. So what we're going to do now, we're going to jump over and we'll give you a real life example of boiling water of how this works. When it comes to understanding the watt hour, there's two things to take in consideration. Power and energy. If you think of power, and I will relate it back to driving a car, Power is the speed at which you do something. So it's how fast you're driving, an example. So if you've got 100 kilometers to travel and you do 100 kilometers an hour, it's gonna take you one hour to get there. Now, energy is the time or distance traveled. Now, we'll take, for example, a boiling water in a kettle. So if we turn this on, most kettles will do about 2,000 watts. So if you've got a kettle that's doing 2,000 watts and you run it for an hour, you'll use 2,000 watt hours. Now, as an example for this here, what we can do, we can turn this kettle down. So rather than 2,000 watts, we can turn it down to 1,000 watts. So what will happen, we're still going to use the same amount of energy over time to boil the water. It's just going to take a little bit longer. So watts is the speed of which something happens at, and the watt hour is how much energy consumed over time. Let's jump back up to the whiteboard and see how this relates back to solar. Now with solar, what you're going to see, everyone talks about 6.6 .6 kilowatts of panels. So in theory, if those 6.6 .6 kilowatts of panels were put on a 6 or a 7 kilowatt inverter they'd have to go onto to be able to do their 6.6 .6 kilowatt, that's the most amount of energy at any one time that they could produce in a moment. If you've got a 5 kilowatt PV inverter, that means that's the maximum peak energy that it can produce at any one time. And then if you add time to the PV inverter, that's when you get the watt hour or the kilowatt hour. So as an example, we'll just use five for an easy number. If you have a five kilowatt PV inverter, at its peak production, it can do five kilowatt. If you add time to it, so you add five sun hours, Five times five is 25, so you get that 25 kilowatt hours. So that, and that time gives you those kilowatt hours, which is really important. Now, a battery inverter, if you get a five kilowatt battery inverter, what that means is that's how many appliances you can turn on that can do 5,000 watts at once. So we'll use the kettle as an example. So if you've got a 2,000 watt kettle, Your toaster's 2,000 watts, and let's say you've got a thermo mix. So if you turn all of those three appliances on at once, your battery inverter can supply five kilowatts at any one time. So these are how fast it can do things. So remember the, the kilowatt is speed and how quick it can do something. So a battery inverter, a PV inverter, the way they're monitored is in kilowatts. Now where people get confused when it comes to batteries, and this is where it's really important, batteries are measured in kilowatt hours. So it's actually how many hours you can actually pull 
So the time you can use that battery for. So as an example, if you get a 14 kilowatt hour battery pack, which is a Tesla Powerwall, for example, is probably the most common battery that's sold to grid connected customers or installed around the world. If you use that for 14 hours, if you pulled a thousand watts out of it for 14 hours, you would use your 14 kilowatt hours. So that's how batteries are measured. When it comes to home battery new lithium type storage. Now, when we go back to volts times amps, if you look at a car battery, if you've ever been into four wheel drive and I had a 12 volt set up in your car, you'll see that the 12 volt battery is 12 volt or 100 amp hours is how they're measured and monitored. Most lithium batteries are measured in kilowatt hours. So how do we work out in your 12 volt battery of how many kilowatt hours is in your 12 volt battery? We just go back to our simple equation of volts times amps equals watts. So if we have a 12 volt battery and it has 100 amp hours in it, So 12 times 100 equals that 1200 watt hours. And so we can make it 1.2 kilowatt hours. But it's because there's amp hours in it, if we took the amps away, it's a 100 amp battery. So if you look on a lot of car batteries, for example, they've got the CCA, which is the cold cranking amps of 600 amps. Now that's the most amount of energy you can pull out at one time. So that's the power that the battery can deliver. But over time, you've got that 100 amp hour. So you've only really got 1.2 kilowatt hours in a 100 amp hour battery. So it's the easiest way to work it out. And the best thing to do is when you're buying batteries or trying to understand batteries, if you are looking at lead acid type batteries or anything like that, is to always convert it back to kilowatt hours and do all your conversions back to kilowatt hours. It'll make your life so much easier and simpler to get an understanding of how much energy you're gonna require in your battery storage. Now, just a bit of a recap. So we get our volts times amps gives us a watts and we add time, we get the watt hour. So if you think of it like this, so watts is the power, the speed of how things happen and the watt hour is time or distance or energy used over time. Down below you get your PowerPoint presentation. There's a lot more examples where we go into to give you a really good understanding and I'd highly recommend grab a couple of appliances from your house and do this exercise yourself and work it out of how much power something's going to pull at any one time. Grab a fridge. Fridges are complicated and air conditioners are complicated. They're really good exercises to do and see how much energy that device is going to use over time.